Now that would have been a serious meal if he could have eaten him, but I think that crayfish is just too big. And I think Gollum is a little perplexed with what it is because it's big and blue, unlike anything he's ever seen. But I think the crayfish has the same thought about Gollum because he's a big, brown, unusual monster-like creature that would never occur where this crayfish comes from down in the southern part of the U.S. in the Louisiana swamps. Gollum's very interested in the crayfish, but that's probably not a good thing. I don't think he can eat it. It's way too big, but he might be able to damage it. I hope that doesn't happen. Oh, Gollum's going to get pinched if he's not careful. Oh boy, that, that pincher is really close to his eye. I don't like the looks of that. He's just asking for it. One pinch from those pinchers and it's going to hurt. There we go. Hopefully he'll learn that that is not a creature you want to mess with. I've put several smaller crayfish in here. Gollum doesn't seem interested. Look at him. Boy, that's... It's a little bold there, Gollum. Walking right, walking right into a, the lair of a killer crayfish. That's exactly what this crayfish is called. Procambrus clarki, I believe, is its scientific name. Also known as the killer crayfish. If you're wondering what the filamentous stuff is that's attached to the rock blowing in the current, um, that is some of Gollum's shed skin. He shed recently. He sheds a lot. And he's growing. And obviously is evidenced by the shed. That is a monstrous crayfish. Beautiful though. And dangerous. Dangerous to hellbenders and of course dangerous to humans if you stick your finger in there. Oh, watch your foot, Gollum. Well, I don't see any damage. I, I, I suppose the skin of the hellbender is adapted to withstand the bite of the crayfish since that is one of its primary prey, sort, prey uh, animals. What an amazing creature. He's got a good store of fat there in his tail. So this is our brand new blue crayfish, also called a killer crayfish or a Procambrus Clarkeye. And I believe I'm going to give him a name and just for, you know, fun. We're going to call him Arnold, as in Arnold Schwarzenegger, because of his giant arms. I seem to think that's somewhat fitting. Or maybe Popeye. He does kind of have pop eyes and big arms like Popeye, but I kind of like Arnold better. <laughs> 